wanted to happen, but it did happen. Morning, everybody. It's Saturday, uh, Sunday morning. And look at the lens, and the lens is clean. I'm gonna clean the lens off before we do anything else. Morning, everybody. We'll try this again. See, the lens is a little clearer. I'm gonna go out and attempt this uh, flagpole again today. See, the bees have kind of uh, subsided a little bit. I'm seeing wasps floating around out here. I think I don't have time to get in and get this pole taken down. So, we'll go while uh, I get some pants on, get my gloves on, trusty tubing cutter. I'm gonna take that pole down right down here. I cut it off about a foot, about a foot from the ground. Uh, I took a piece, piece of rod yesterday down to, to see how deep it is in the ground. I'm sure it's got concrete. I'm sure it's concreted in. But I'm not sure how deep it is. One foot, two foot, three foot, I don't know. My game plan is, is I want to take, cut that tube, I'm going to cut that tube off. I said about a foot from the ground. And I was talking about a hinge putting a hinge on it. I looked at it and I started pricing it. I could buy a hinge to do that, big enough to do that. It's like 70, it's like 70 bucks. By the time I buy all the shipping, you know, the shipping and handling, you get from, from there to here and whatever, I'm thinking I could buy a whole pole for that much. So what I'm going to do is cut the tube and take a measurement on the inside of it and put a, like a dowel or a piece of pipe, a uh, heavy wall pipe, even a solid rod if I have to make one to work. Um, we have lathes and mills and things that work. I can probably turn, turn down a piece of heavy wall pipe to match the size I need. First I'll find out what the actual what ID is. I know what the OD is, but I'm not, don't, I'm not sure what the ID is. I'm not sure how thick the tubing is. I know it's very thin, at least thin on top. It's pretty easy to crush. So I'm gonna go get this thing cut down and uh, see what it is, get some measurements inside and make something to make something to work. I'll take you along. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm not sure how heavy this pole is. I doubt if it's real heavy. I think I got my backup coming to help me out here. Come over here. You wanna help out? My, my little helper. My backup plan here. You gonna help me out, dude? Huh? So here we go. I'm going in. Like I said, I'm not sure how heavy this pole is. I doubt it's real heavy. I'm fitting to find out here real quick. Wish me luck. Success. Now I'll get my tape measure out, and my micrometers or calipers or something to measure the ID of the uh, tubing. See what we end up with. I got my little trusty caliper here. It's a generic one. I have, I have better ones at work, digital ones, and a good set of uh, inside mics and calipers. Anyways, I'm gonna get a measurement here. Looks to me like it's going to be somewhere in the more than one and nine sixteenths, and one at less than five eighths. So. I'll call it uh, 19, 19 30 seconds. One or 19 30 seconds. So it's going to be like point five nine three seven. Back here, it's got a little scale on there, decimal equivalent. So now I've got to find a piece of pipe that will fit down inside there. Oh, probably. Uh, let's see. I like to go about two foot long. The idea is to put a piece of pipe inside that, heavy wall pipe, put it inside the tube out here under the tree, drill it and pin it, put this here back on it, drill it and pin it. This way, whenever I want to remove it, pull the bolts, pull the pins, pull it out, pull it right off the, the stem. I'm also going to put never seize on it. Never seize will keep it from seizing up like this. Uh, over the years, I've been sitting here, this is galvanized, or it was. Okay, it's galvanized steel, but out you can see, you pull this thing out here where you can see it. It's sitting on my four wheeler now, but you can see how badly this rusted up. It's been painted, 
that are rusted and painted. Actually, there's some holes in it, and I'm going to try to fill those up too. Maybe get my welder out here and do some welding. Weld those pinholes up. Water get inside, moisture get inside. Make it rust even worse inside. So that's probably why it seized up so bad as it was. Anyways, I'm going to clean this all off. Uh, wire wheel it. Sand it down. Put some paint on it. It's got an eagle on the top of it. Bring it out here where we can see it a little better. I want to try to uh, fix it all up and paint it. Tighten it up. See? It's got a little eagle on here. It's got a bolt through here. Basically an eye bolt through to, to hold the uh, the rope pulley. I'm going to get another, another rope pulley too. So I already got cleat down here for the uh, the rope. Right down here. So I got the cleat already installed. Get all cleaned up, paint it up, make it look nice, and get a flagpole up here. Hopefully by Memorial Day. I'll come back with more and let you know what I'm doing. Got my trusty mask on here. I'm not sure what kind of paint this is on this uh, pole, but I don't want to be eating it. I'm sure I ain't sure if it's lead-based paint, how old it is, how what kind of paint it is. I'm wearing a mask just to keep protect myself. Either way, do what I'm doing here. Air tools, trusty air tools. Little die grinder, sanding disc on the front of it. This is like a 40 grit. Just to get the worst of it off. It's all down to bare metal. I just want to get the most of it off to get it smooth again. Some of the paint was so chipped and so old it actually started to crack and it's just like valleys and stuff in there. And I'm trying to get it all smoothed off. I'll probably put a coat of primer on it and then some kind of a really good oil based paint. Uh, I know we have a big store here right here in town. Uh, Sherwin Williams, they have pretty good paints. Well, I use them at work all the time. They're a little pricey, but they're good paints. Anyways, I'll show you how I'm doing this. Longest edge. Not quite wanted to happen, but it did happen. Anyways, my eagle broke off. It broke off before, so it wasn't my, wasn't my first time. So. We'll fix it though. I know a guy with a glue gun. We'll go at it again. I'll bring the camera over here so you can see closer what I'm doing here. I don't want to get too much dust on here, but you can notice I've got a lot of pretty thick paint on here. See how this got the all cratered and stuff and all beat up. I'm not trying to get perfect. I'm trying to get better. If I get it down clean enough. I'll be put some uh, primer over it. They have these uh, primer with, filler with fillers in them. Fills all the little imperfections. And then I'll put some really good oil-based paint on it and uh, be good to go. Anyways, I'm going to get busy here and I'll come back when I get it closer to being done. Okay, this is where I'm at so far. Get down here where you can see. This is what I got so far. But this part here pretty well done. It's not perfect, not all the way gone, but it looks a lot better than it did. I'm working on this side here. I have two different grits of paper I'm using. 40 and a 60. 40 is getting the worst of the paint off, and the 60 is to kind of get rid of some of the tool marks. They make it smoother up here like this. So I'm going to go take a break and go to bite to eat. Let my equipment cool down a little bit here and run pretty hard. And then uh, back and do some more. Here's what i got so far. I'll turn the camera on so you guys can see it. I had some white paint. It wasn't great, but it's white. Better, I had better what I had, so I went in and put a coat of paint on it. I got the rust cleaned off of it. I did find one thing though, and it's got some holes, some pinholes in there, so this won't last much longer. Maybe another year, maybe two. It's gonna have to come down and be replaced completely. So I'm glad I didn't spend a whole lot of money on getting this thing fixed. Now I have to find a piece of pipe to go inside that hole. I'll have to start looking around for... Got dirt all over me here. Anyways, I'm going to try to find a piece of pipe to fit down in this hole right here. And then I'll make a piece to go between that and that and put it back up and have to get new hardware for it. Well, guess what? I found some hardware in my garage. I had to, I had to make a new swivel. Some new hooks. Some new rope. 
You got the rope tied on there. You got size for the flag. I don't want to buy a new flag though. One I have is kind of old and faded. I'm going to put a brand new one up. Next thing is, is finding out how to put the pipe in there to fasten it up. I looked around my garage. I couldn't find anything here. But I'll find something to uh, put in there and uh, hopefully have this flag in the air tomorrow night. For right now, I'm done. I will uh, close the video out now. Tomorrow, I will post another small video when I get it together and get it on the air, weather permitting, and finding everything I need for permitting. We'll see, we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you turn, your, turn on your notifications. Stay tuned for more.